things that are not released yet. They are free demos that you may be able to grab. Whenever I do a free demo video, I have to, you know, put in an asterisk and say these may not still be available because sometimes they take their demos off Steam, like when the Steam Next Fest ends. So I'll include links, but they may not be there. If so, great, check them out. I think you will like all four of these games. They are all cozy, pretty relaxing, fine, cute, you know, all the good stuff. So tell me which one you like the most in the comments, and let's get started. Okay, let's check out a bit of Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley. Now, I'm not really overly familiar with the Moomin lore, to be honest. It's not something from my wheelhouse, <laughs> but I know that um, they're a Scandinavian um, cartoon book series, TV show, you know, it's, it's quite a phenomenon. And I know they're very popular um, with the Japanese as well. Kind of like, uh, who's that little Dutch bunny cartoon? She's also really popular. Is it Mimi or, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, so this game is coming out next year and although I'm not familiar with the Moomin lore, it looks so cute. Look at this. Look at these little guys. That's Moomin, Moomin Troll. I'll miss you terribly, Snufkin. Are you sure you need to go? This is Snufkin. It's autumn. It's time I'll be on my way. Besides, you Moomins will be sleeping all winter. Okay, Moomins hibernate, apparently. They're like little bears, although they look more like capos. I know. Promise you'll be back. I'll be back in spring, as always. Then I'll be waiting for you here on the bridge, as always. Oh my gosh, I want to be Moomin's friend. You're adorable. Goodbye, Moomin Troll. See you in the spring. Oh, look at those leaves. I adore this little watercolor paper style that they've gone for in the art. It is a delight to look at. This game is so just kind of comfy. Oh, here's the little world, I suppose. Little town. This is where the Moomins live, you know, their little village. Walking through the forest, inspired by the stories of Duve Janssen. Yeah. Who was Finnish, I believe. Winter, we're still walking a game by Hyper Games. Are we gonna walk straight through spring? No, it's still winter. And the Moomins are sleeping, I suppose. Published by Ra Ran Raw Raw Fury. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't read cursive. That's embarrassing. <laughs> we're doing a little ice fishing in our little tent. Looks chilly. A little fire. This is just a cozy world. I like it. Look at the sun. Or I'm sorry, the moon. Look at the way it's done. Oh yeah, and there's music by Siko Ross in it. I actually really like the music of Siko Ross. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But uh, because it's like copyrighted music, I had to turn it off. I had to turn on the like content creator mode version. So we actually won't get to hear any of it. So if you play, if you download this demo, if it's still up, I'm not 100% sure, and uh, you can you can listen to the music for yourself. But unfortunately, it will not be playing on the channel. All right, time has passed. Spring is here. Flowers are starting to bloom, and the birds are out. And he, oh, there we go. I'm getting close to Moomin Valley. I can't wait to meet Moomin Troll again. Yeah, same. New quest, reuniting with a friend. He should have woken from his winter slumber by now. When spring arrives, Mim and can always be found waiting by the bridge. It'll be great to see him again. Okay. Oh, is this a click? This is a clicking point. Okay, rather than on WASD. Okay. So if I, if I move closer to Snufkin, Snufkin walks slower. And if we 
move far away, you know, that stuff can run. I don't normally love the click and point style, but uh, in a game like this, I kind of don't mind, I guess. Absolutely lovely art style. I just, uh, it's really, it's a treat to be old. Oh, what's going on here? Is it really him, Snufkin? I'm confused because we have like the enter key here and I'm supposed to press S there, but WASD is not my designated walking. It's confusing. Hello, who's there? Small creature says, yikes. Uh, strange. Yeah. Phew, that was close. What's going on? Who's in here?
I'm still trying to think of a name for our friend. Like, moral support, sure. Let's have some moral support from our f unnamed friend. There we go. Whoa, look at this guy. This is one big boulder. We can push objects by pressing S while moving. Oh, get out of the way. Oh my gosh. We're pushing our friend. I hope you're not stuck. Are you stuck, friend? No, you're okay. Come on, come along. This is quite a lengthy way to get to this bridge. Hello, who are you? That friendly old chap could help us over. Try playing your harmonica for him. I didn't even know I had a harmonica. Okay, I just got it. I hope you brought it. Yeah, apparently I did. Oh, uh, let's see. Hello. He looks scary, but he's really friendly, just like me. Well, I don't really think you look very scary, but... Old A to play the harmonica. Oh. Kinda loud. <laughs> oh, but I guess... Our friend is not coming. <laughs> well, they just appear. There's a weird drawing here. Yeah. They look like the creeps. Are these the creeps? Because um, it looks like it. So, you've got a two above your harmonica. Not enough inspiration. I have to find inspiration. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> you don't seem inspired to talk to play for the creeps yet. Maybe we should look for inspiration. Well, I'm really meant to be traveling on my way to meet Moomin Troll, and I'm feeling like I'm getting very distracted. Okay, here we go again. It's a, it's a very odd little dude in the water, aren't you? But nice enough, right? Oh, hello. Wait. Oh, it's you. What's <laughs> seems packed with it. <laughs> How can you tell? Okay. How on earth was I supposed to tell that? Can I keep doing it? No, nope, it's a one time only kind of thing. Oh, we got a little bird friend. A bit hard to reach though. Try getting the bird to help by playing for it. Okay. Circling birds play for a blackbird to make it fly in circles, then stop playing to send it flying. Alrighty. Hey, it worked. You seem even more inspired. Okay, let me try it again. There's another one. We're outsourcing inspiration. And there's more. But we're not quite at inspiration level 2, are we? There's some more. Oh, we did it. We feel the inspiration flow through our body, enabling us to play for more heartfelt music. More creatures will respond now. So we're level two. And that means that if I go back here, which I'm not quite sure I can now, I could play for that guy, the creeps. Oh, maybe I can go back this way. Okay. Getting into fun. 
apples here. No apples. That's a terrible sign. No camping. No looking. Oh, come on. Any more signs? Let me add them. I'll get rid of them. What's that over there? Oh, there's like... Wait, what? <laughs> the barkeeper is also a moomin. Remember, you're doing very important work here. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remind me again what my job was. Sorry, you need to uphold these rules at all times, 24-7. We're rebuilding the valley of the future. Oh, no. What's happening to Moomin Valley? Um, what about bathroom breaks? Hello? Let's go talk. Hold. I need you to watch this park while I'm off on business. Well, I'm gonna remove those signs, so we'll see about that. Yeah. Remove all of them and restore nature rules signs. This makes me so mad. Another 
sing as a kid and this is all your all your birds, your babies, so Dee Dee. What a wonderful sound, Dee Dee. I moved to tears. <laughs> Should we name you Dee Dee? Yeah. <laughs> Dee Dee, yeah. Okay. Almost too happy. Hmm. No, not a good name. How about Dee Dee Woo, a happy start with the sand? Like 
another one on the other side of the gate and some more roses let's put one here let's put one here and then let's put one right here lovely and now we need to water it's a small watering can but it'll work for now every seed you plant will need some water to get it going and they need watering regularly so the underwater will be brown crispy and they'll droop and the ground will be discolored okay let's water see it becoming more green. I, I don't know what it is. Why I love gardening in a game. I love farming, gardening, whatever. And in real life, it's an absolute nightmare for me. <laughs> I just, you know, I kill everything I touch and I just can't do it. Okay, and I planted some over here. my watering can. It looks a little low, so let me fill it up. How cute. And I pick it back up. My watering can is full. Uh, where else? I planted something here. And I planted a rose here. And then my last one was right here, my other little daffodil. Amazing. Oh, we're a natural. That's enough for one day. There's no rush. We should explore. Keep it on the time and get some rest at the end of the day. Okay, prestige to check the time. We have like a little bucket watch. How cute is that? And gardening patience is key. Oh, we can do sometimes. Just wait. And we can hit the post if we want. Jasmine is not meeting us tomorrow, but she's gonna write us a postcard and we'll check the post box when we get here in the morning. See ya. Look how peaceful it is. And clearly we've got like a greenhouse that I think we're eventually gonna be able to go and maybe not in this demo here and there's a little bridge that looks like it needs to be fixed we can go over to the little gazebo pagoda let's go inside this little shed how cute storage we've got like a flower cutting bench seat storage and a tool storage there's a lot of cobwebs in here and a little cuckoo clock oh who's this hello oh hello lovely what a kitty. And there's our gardening book. Sunflower. Okay. What's with these swatches down here? I don't know. Hellbore. Hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas. I would really love to plant some. Let's see what it says. Um, okay, I didn't say. Like if they're hard to grow or something. Jasmine. Oh, I love the smell of jasmine. I grew up with a jasmine bush in my front yard and I just smelling it takes me back. The narcissus, very pretty. The classic rose. The tulip. And meet the villagers. A little tutorial help. Okay, I'm just gonna back out of that. I think it's time to go home and get some rest. What do you think? I don't know where we are. Like, at first I thought it looks like a very English garden, but then, you know, looking out, I don't 100% know. It could be anywhere. It's got mountains. It's beautiful. It's like a little village. But I'm gonna take the bus and go home for the day. Day two. I'm back. Except Jasmine's request from the poster box. So that's right here. Check my mail. Sorry, I can't be there today. I've got to cover for Leslie at the gardening shop in the village. I'm making a gift for my fiancé, Marcus. That must be the, the gorgeous person from the front, the, the main menu screen. You'll meet him soon, don't worry. I need some daffodils for him. Okay, I think we are growing some, right? I need some daffodils, yada, yada, yada. Uh, do, do, do. We cut the daffodils, leave them in the drop box. Okay, so deliver six daffodil cuttings. We're gonna get 100 florins. Okay, maybe this is some friends then. Oh, this is Leslie. Hello there, dearie. You must be the new gardener. I'm Leslie. I run the gardening shop in town. Sorry for stealing Jasmine from you today. I don't get many days off, you see. But I see you got a postcard. That's something Robin suggested. Sending postcards to make requests. They always wanted the 
is so cute and cozy. Leslie's Garden Shop. Oh, uh, hello. Wedding, not wedding, donations. Let's see, I've got like a, a wooden archway 
I want to have a big, lush, lovely garden. 
place. Oh, okay, that makes way more sense. Hold E to rotate it clockwise. Hold Q to rotate it counterclockwise. Okay. I have some exciting news picture card in the spotlight for there's a competition afoot. Oh my goodness. Capture a screenshot of it. Share the entry on social media using the hashtag Garden Life Demo. Alright. Oh, it's actually on Steam. That's really cute. That's super, super cute. Let's check out the screenshot mode. Looks like we press B. Oh, it's really lovely looking. Take 
Here's incoming, so if we go back to our, um, our ship, you can see they're starting to offload materials and all that. Okay, next, the explorer side. Home to explorers who use rations to explore unknown terrain. I feel like that should also be near... How about over here? Put it opposite it. Okay. And, uh, a wood-cutting hut. A quarry, a sawmill, and two stone masons. Woodcutters, they fell the trees and they gather, so it should be, you know, near these trees, realistically. Let's put it, uh, here. I don't know if you can move stuff around, but possibly. Okay, that's my woodcutting hut next to the quarry. So it should be near some rocks. I see some rocks here. Oh, there's a lot of rocks here. So let's put you way up here. Okay. Quarry done. Next, my sawmill. Oh, let's watch them actually for a second. So people are digging. Okay, dig, dig, dig. Now they're preparing the terrain. Next, here come the builders. They're gonna build, 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 build. Build, 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 build. Here come the rocks. <laughs> They're all queuing up to add rocks. Okay, this may take a while, our building. The terrain is still being prepared. Almost done with that. 96, 97, 98, 99, and... Come on, oh my goodness, 100. Next, okay, looks like we've got our builders here. Let's watch them. Oh, my wrong. They're going to the explorer's hut. Preparing that. Where are our builders? Oh, wow, look at everyone. Holy cow. So they give you way more people than, like, Banished starts out with. Uh, it could just be because of the fact that this is, like, an, on an easier mode, though. Come on, where are my builders? I really want to watch you guys build, but you're taking forever. Okay, well, I'll wait for that. Uh, the sawmill. So, I feel like it should be relatively near, uh, oh, it actually fits quite nicely right there, right in the corner. It'll be a cornerstone of our town. Ha ha ha. And two stonemasons, who I feel like should be near, uh, you know, the stone cutters. I'll put one there, and why don't we put one maybe down here by these stones. I think these are stones that you can cut, right? Oh, maybe not. Those seem to be the stones. Oh, here it goes. Our guard tower is under construction now. Oh, and so is uh, the wood cutting light. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. There it goes. Halfway done. Oh, some of the... What's the word? Uh, I'm blanking on the word for this. Wow, no brain cells today. The scaffolding. The scaffolding's starting to come down. And it looks like our guard tower is done. Look at it. Workers on their way. That's exciting. Okay, you're working on that. Oh, and look, our wood cutting hut is on its way. Our second guard tower is almost done. Working on the stuff over there. Okay, next we're gonna need a hunting lodge. Let's see, hunting, hunting lodge. Well, where are the animals? I don't actually know. Oh, here's some. They're quite over here, but this is quite a large circle, so I think if I put them, like, over here, it will encompass, you know, this area where there's bunnies and there's this deer here and all that. Farmland, oh, that's gonna be cute. Let's see, I reckon maybe over here we do some farmland. Oh, look, there's more uh, deer here, and I see some mushrooms. There's some porcini mushrooms over here. Okay. Explorer's hut is done. Oh, and next we need to build some cottages for people. To live in, of course. So, would that be here? A cottage? Okay, let's build a cottage and um, a cottage. 
maybe it should be near farmland. I was thinking about putting a farm up here, so maybe I'll have a well. Um, not, not farmland. Or that is farmland. <laughs> What if I put it uh, here? And I was thinking maybe I'll connect that road. You know? That's awkward. It's really awkward. <laughs> this is so awkward. There we go. Our awkward little road. Fantastic. Where's this construction camp? Construction camp. Construction camp. Can, oh, there we go. Uh, residents of construction units, they'll go here when waiting for a new task. Let's see. Oh, I have to sneeze. Sorry, hold on. Uh, let, let, let's maybe work on our road a bit and then we can have more room for like stuff. There, there we go. Got some nice beachfront property happening there. How lovely. Uh, maybe the construction camp could actually fit like right here. No, I don't think I like that. No, I don't. I don't like that. Um, wow, it's hard to fit make room for stuff, isn't it? Um, well then, maybe I'll fit you back here, it kind of fits real snug, snug's a bug right there. So, our guild hall's done, our tavern is nearly done, and then we're just waiting on these tavern tables, which are missing softwood beams, which are being produced, like, where, oh, can I maybe click on it and see? Somewhere. Stonemason, no. Cory, no. Forrester, no. Uh, man, where is our. Who oh, is making the, like, planks? Wood and stone. What can I not. produces. Okay, the sum. Yeah, where are you? Oh, you're right here, right in front of me, right in front of my very eyes. Okay, so they're doing that. It's just. It's maybe a little slow. It's a little slow going. Working on it, we're working on it. Uh, working on it, we're working on it. Toolsmith. The toolsmith and the wood workshop, I'm thinking we have not unlocked yet because they are red and I also just like don't see them. So I'm wondering if we need to like level up or something. Whoa, an arcane academy. Oh cool. This is neat. Oh, storage might be pretty good, you know. I really would like to build a farm. I'm tired of of waiting. Ow. Can I just like I'm I'm a little uh. I, I don't really know what I'm doing to be to be honest. Am I am I making farmland? I'll need to connect it, so like, what if I... Oops. Do you count as a... Uh, no far oh, it has to be near a farm. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh... Oh, too bad I didn't have enough room for it to go in there. So, I possibly put those two. I don't think I know what I'm doing very much here. Oh, but it's fun. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, my gosh. Look how many people we... Oh, my gosh. So, here's Pioneers of Pagonia. Here's our little town with our insane amount of people. We have, we have 150 residents. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, Pioneers of Pagonia, very fun. If you like the city builders, it's for you. Alright, the very last game I want to share with you guys today is kind of different. It's really interesting, but it's the one that I've played the most out of these. And I find it really fun. I think you guys like it too. So, similar to um, Pioneers of Pagonia, this is... Um, a, also a, like, town builder. Sorry, it was Pioneers of Pogo. 
to worry about that. So, he probably holds like five people, I guess. So, we have another room for five more people. So, we're at six population. This is seven. Oh, now we have to get to 20. We're also going to get a worker when we reach 10 population. Oh, and if we, um, Sorry, we need to be working on something else. Let's uh, learn. Oh, I have to reach 20 people before we can do that. Okay. Never mind. So there's eight. Let's get to 20. There's 10. Now we have a worker, and now we're growing one food per second. So we will automatically start growing people. We are now out of space, so I need to build another hut. And our worker is generating the food. Um, let's make another hut. So as you can see, the automation is starting to kick in. I need, what, 20 people before I can... Oh, I can be researching tools, though. Uh, I didn't even notice. Eight free space. So now we can kind of start to sit back and just watch as this kind of barren landscape is turned into a hut town. There were tutorials, but I've like already looked at them, so I don't think they're going to show them again. But they're usually like over here, and you can, I think, turn them on and off over here. Alright, now we have tools, which the tools are getting us one wood per second. So now we're automating our food and our wood. So we're getting more people and we are building more houses. There are 17. And here comes another hut. And there's 18. Look at all our little houses. Lots of people holding food. our 20th person. We can then unlock this next thing, the spearman, and we have a little goal now to reach population 20, which we're about to do. That's the star. Okay. So we did it. We, we finished this. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's like a civilization kind of game. You've got this tech tree, which is quite reminiscent of civilization. But it's way more casual. We're able to just like sit back and relax and just kind of, well, you, you do have to do stuff. You are going to have to intervene and it's not always going to be calm. There will be things that are not calm at all, but I really like it. We're now consuming more food, so we are producing less people, but we are going to get our next worker. Um, population, so if we can get to that. But we got so many mouths to feed. So we just uh, learned Spearman, and now we can explore this little map. See, we're in the Neolithic era. We're here in this little town. There's a few places where we can go and check stuff out. There's different things, like there's mammoths here, and we're gonna have to fight them here. There's like a risk of fire. There's always a risk in these. So the risk here is like fire. The risk here is, well, you're gonna have to fight. Um, this is a random dilemma, so that could, you know, what that's gonna be. There's a risk of, uh, a crisis here. Let's go here. The tribal village, um, just give me three options for this random dilemma. So, all of our people are gonna go on their little quest. There they go. Bye-bye. Our next goal is to reach level 50. Alright, we've got three options here. Wool, saw blade, cattle. Let's go for cattle because we really could use some more food, right? And now here you can see the progress of our, our scouting expedition. This little fist is a... Uh, it's like a fight which is only available when there's a crisis, which we will definitely be experiencing a crisis at some point. 25 population, pretty good. So it's really chill in the start, as you can see. I really like it. Let's produce um, a spearman. This one, obviously,
mansion. Look how many houses we have. This is a proper town now, I think. Here come the mammoths, everybody. We're in combat, so let me pause it and explain. So the way the combat is going to work is we have like a minute to solve this crisis. This is going to be ticking down. When it reads this point, it's going to destroy a house. When it gets at this point, it's going to destroy another house. We want to try to lower this red bar before this. So we do that by using this, using our militia charge, also by using our spearmen. This will reload. This one, we only get one, and then we'll need to produce another. This one blocks a crisis attack, which means that when it gets down to this, the house will not be destroyed. Watch. So if I use it, now that will no longer happen. We'll use that, and we'll use that. Now we're going to have to wait for this to reload. And as I said, if we wanted another spearman, we would have to be producing it. I think we can do it without needing to do that. Look at them, look at them rampaging. I think they've killed a couple of people, which is not good. Alright, see, it's ticking down to that. Unfortunately, we're shielded from this, so the houses will not be destroyed. The crisis is over. We have defeated the threat. We got a hero for completing that, and we got a boost to our production. Let's take a look at this little hero. You get a little guy. This is Kari Ruelas. Ruelas. An elite belief hero on level 4. So they do a few things, like adding to the base damage, stun crisis, stuff like that. You can basically apply them, put them in like one of these little slots. Okay, so now he's sitting in there. And we did this. Defeat the mammoths at least once. That's great. Alright, uh, now we've reached population 100, uh, let's defeat some barbarians next. However, we need to rebuild our spearmen, obviously, as we did lose our spearmen, and after that we're going to need to rebuild our hill fort, so you do have to, like, recover from an attack, right? You can't just, like, launch right back into it. Uh, so, um, I'll probably go over here, fight these barbarians. The more often you go in one area, see, we filled up this bar, this is a second one, a third one, and a fourth one, and after that, you convert the dial to forest, and then you get, like, a bonus, so if we did this one again, too, which, why don't we do that, let's do that one, while we're waiting, no, no, I don't want to cancel it, while we're rebuilding our spearmen and stuff like that, so that we can, um, prepare to do, like, another fight, but aren't you proud, our little town is, like, in front of our eyes, it's lovely. Okay, make our hill fort again, and again, this is the one that I have to click because, um, I don't have the pickaxe yet. We're still working on flour. Probably, maybe I should have done the pickaxe then. No, it's fine. I just have to make sure I, I get this before we use up 25 houses.
expensive, so I think this is like a really interesting as if and I also play humankind a lot. Oh here comes our fight, are you ready? Level four barbarians, okay. Let's use our spearmen. And um they're stunned. That was our guy. That was what our guy did. I'm wondering if I can um defeat them. Every time they do that they're stunned for a few seconds. I don't even think I need to use my um this is called. I can just wait. And we did it. That was not bad. We did pretty good. I think maybe someone, some people died though. Yeah, like four people died. We got a new hero. We got a bunch of money. That's awesome. Which I can trade for stuff. Let's check out our new hero. Okay, so we got Man Leeds. So, whoa, look how much food per second. Holy cow. Okay, so you go here. That's a lot of food. We do need to remake our spearmen, though. So, that was Barbarians times uh, four. Well, one has been completed. We've found a new area on the map. I'd have to fight them again. But we're obviously not ready to do that. We need to worry about ourselves for now. We're running out of houses, so I might click a little bit and assist to get our spearmen ready so we can go back to our houses. There we go. Oh, and more houses have popped up before my very eyes. Look at that. Crazy. Okay, this only got a few seconds left, and then I believe what it does is it gives us more of these. I think so we'll have three. We'll be able to have up to three. Let's see. I haven't even really been using them. Oh, the sun is definitely going down on the zero. Okay, got that. Let's go ahead and do the pickaxe next. We really need to do that. Have three, four units. That was the next thing. So, um... Oh, okay. It's an encampment. We have to build that, and then we get two extra forts, so it would increase these forts. We only have the one fort, one out of one, then we one out of three. So let's build some more huts. And now, when we have a surplus of houses, then I will work on the encampment, because don't forget, no houses will be built in that time period. We don't want to run out of room. If you run out of room, then um, I'm pretty sure instead of having people, we would have those vacuum that we saw. And there, I kind of forget what they do, but it's not good. It's not great. You want people to be housed, of course. You don't want the homeless population running up. A happy city here. It is turning into more of a city. Look how many houses we got, and the lights have come on. They've got the little fires, because it's dark. Running out of houses. I can assist with this, of course. But our growth has slowed down massively, so I, we don't really need to worry too much anymore. And we now have to get to 100 before we grow our population. Uh, okay, also to finish 8 quests, 4 left, having the 3-4 units, that's not too difficult. And once this is done, then we'll have our, um, our pickaxe, so we'll We'll finally have those stones that we wanted. Four, three, two, one, and there we go. Okay, let's do the plow since our food production has slowed down massively. We need that food now. Felt like we had so much food for so long. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> and there we go. That's our little encampment. Look at it. So now, as I said, we've gone back up to one out of the so let's, let's let's get some more hill forts. We are now producing this, but it is slow. It is slow going. I guess I'll assist. Oh, our people are starving. Oh dear. Um, I might. Oh boy, how can I get more food? I think people are. They are so hungry. 
Get lots of rest and I'll see you next time.